In this lesson, we practice reading words with different tones. Why do we need to practice tones and dictions? Imagine you want to say that you like to sing, but people hear that you like fish, or they might even hear that you like tomato. You see, it is very important to learn the tones correctly because each tone changes the meaning of a word completely. Sometimes the misunderstanding can be funny, but not always. So, let's hear the six possible sounds that one might hear related to the letter A. Follow the cursor and listen. A, 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 A. Okay. Let's go tone by tone. Listen and repeat after me. Letter A with no tone mark. Pay attention that this is a neutral or flat tone. No up, no down. A, ba, ga, ya, da. Letter A with yo sac. Pay attention that this has an up tone. You start high and you go higher. A sac a ba ga ya da. Next, we have A with yo huing. This is a low tone, down tone. You start low and you stay low. A huing a ba ga ya da. For your hỏi and the letter a, remember your voice go up like you are asking a question. Huh? A hỏi a. Bả, cả, giả, đã. This next one is a bit tricky. The tone mark yo ngã is the hardest for a Vietnamese southerner to distinguish from yo hỏi. So don't worry too much about it for now as I have a southern accent so I may not do a great job sounding it. Here you go. The letter A with the tilde tone sounds similar to A, but there is a short break. A, A ngã, A, bả, cả, dạ, đã. Last but not least, letter A with yo nặng, the dot tone. This tone makes the word sounds shorter and low. A nặng a, bà, cả, dạ, đã. This concludes the letter A with tone marks lesson. Have fun learning Vietnamese.